Miss Miss Sanella here, and welcome back to the episode of Tales of Vesperia. In the last episode, we came back to Namco Banda Isle and saw that Judy is actually quite the gambler. Why can't she play all my games for me, really? Honestly, she just lets me lose. Jeez. Anyway, we're gonna come right over here and do what we originally came here to do, which is get Rita her doctoral degree. From the look on your face, I'd guess that you've brought back all five books. Yep, every single one. Alright, then without further ado, shall we get started with the written test? You may refer to the books that you brought to answer all the questions that follow. How hard can it be to ace a test where you can look up all the answers in books? Then maybe you should take it too, Carol. Who knows, you might surprise yourself and pass. You there! What? Uh, I'm sorry. Did I hear you s Did I hear you say you'd like to take the test? The Miska doctoral degree is pretty tough. You should sit for You should sit for the NAM certificate. NAM certificate. Okay. It's a test for kids around age 10. It's one of our most popular attractions. Oh, oh aren't you scared you might fail? A test like this should be tough for a kid like you. Don't insult me. I'm already 12 years old. That's a full two years above the age level for the test. It should be a cinch. Yeah, keep telling yourself that. If that's what you've decided, then both of you get ready to take the test. All right, so this is a test that we actually have to help out with. Yeah, I understand. It's not just your pride that's on the line here. All right, let's go. Let the test begin. All right, when was the Tales of Destiny released? When was Tales of Destiny released in North America? North America obviously exists in the Tales of Vesperia world. Yep. All right, so the correct answer here is September 30th, 1998. In Tales of Symphonia, who is the worst cook in the party? Now, if I didn't know this off the top of my head, shame on me. The answer is Rain Sage. What is Norma B... Be be beaties. Is it Beaties? I have not played Tales of Legendia yet. Keyword yet, but still. Nickname from Tales of Legendia. Okay, so her nickname is Bubbles. I actually had to look this up because I really didn't know her name. <laughs> which of the following characters does not appear in Tales of the World Radiant Mythology, which is, I believe, the sequel to Tales of Symphonia? The answer is Persea Combatter, which is such a shame because Persea is awesome. She is amazing. Which of the following events does not take place on the N Namcobanda Isle in Tales of the Abyss? Ishtar tones, turns to stone. I really hope I'm pronouncing that right. It's either Ishtar or Ishtar. Ishtar. Okay. Anyway, that's all of the answers that you need for this test. That's the end. Good work. Now I'll total up your points. Rita, how did it go? Do you think you passed? Mm, it was pretty tough, even for me. But I think I probably did alright. Google is the answer! Sounds like the Rita I know. What about you, Kim? How'd you do? I think I probably passed. I have I got a good feeling about it. Sounds like you're pretty confident. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Sorry to keep you waiting. I would like to present the results of your tests. First, Miss Rita Mordio. Out of eight of out of a possible eight hundred points, you received Dun dun dun! 800 points! You've passed with a perfect score! As if we expected anything else from the little genius. Wow, Rita, you're amazing! When it comes down to it, you can get things done, kid. I'm actually quite relieved. Well, only one other person has ever passed this test before. So then, that makes you the second person in the world to pass it, Rita! You guys! I still haven't gotten my results yet! Next we have Carol Kappel. Out of a possible 100 points, you received... 82 points! You just barely passed! I did it! I did it! Yes! I passed! I passed! And why isn't everyone else celebrating? Well, they're questions written for a 10-year-old. A 12-year-old passing, passing them just isn't too impressive. Oh, Carol, I'm sorry, Carol. It would have been pretty shameful if you'd failed. Encouraging. Now to, to bestow the honored titles onto the successful test takers. Rita earned the Miska Doctoral Degree title! And she get 
That's a costume to go along with it. Just look at them. What the? Only those who have earned the honored Miska doctoral degree get to put on this special costume. But of course. What's the matter? Aren't you happy, Rita? Uh, yes, of course I'm happy. You're crying, overwhelmed by emotion, reduced to tears, salty, salty tears of joy. Stop saying such ridiculous things. There was just something in my eye, that's all. That's quite the prize for a degree. Whoever gets clothes for passing a test, honestly. Now then, next off, we have a title for Carol as well. But for me? Really? Carol obtained the title Little Shrimp Professor! <laughs> Okay, that's great. Little Shrimp Professor. Little Shrimp? I thought I was getting a NAM certificate! The NAM certificate has various levels, and you're at the lowest of those levels. If you get a higher score, you'll go up in rank. That's fair enough. Little Shrimp Professor, a fitting title if I do say so myself. A good title for a ten-year-old. Oh no! Oh no! I, I don't want it! I can't have a title like that! You can have it back! Carol gracefully declined the Little Shrimp Professor title, <laughs> so he doesn't get a title after all. I think it's a perfectly good title. Anyway, Miss Rita Mordio, congratulations! Uh, yeah, thanks. Keep up your research so as to not soil the honor that you have earned today. Leave it to me, this genius mage has yet begun to shine. Awesome. Alright, so let's go ahead and take a look at her new title. Or, um, rather, her costume. Hey, kinda looks... Look, really? Her book has a skull on it? Hey, that's actually really cute! Look, it has, like, a shoulder and arms, and it waves as she moves around. I like that! Just that one little detail actually made me like the costume. <laughs> Otherwise, eh, yeah, I guess it's okay. It's very, it's very interesting. It has that Lolita look going on. Yeah. I can see her bra. Hmm. Not sure how I feel about that. <laughs> okay, let's get her out of that and not have her as a spotlight hog. Um, Grand Mage, there we go. That looks more like the Rita I'm used to. Alright, so we have a character skit. Learn well. My head hurts. Are you okay? Should I use my healing arts? Leave him, Estelle. He's just not used to hard questions like that. I think he sprained his brain. But Rita, I'm impressed. You know everything. Well, you never know what might be useful for research. Knowledge is no burden, they say. Estelle's living proof of that. Read enough books and you just learn lots of things without realizing it. Maybe you absorb facts better because you're already reading all the time. That tactic won't work for the old man at all. Uh, my head hurts. Here comes the second doofus. The second doofus? Really? That's nice, Rita, after he went ahead and passed those tests. But anyway, yeah, I think, you know, I think out of everyone, I'd expect Estelle to do really well on that test. I mean, like they said, she's always reading. She's like a bookworm, man. So anyway, we're pretty much done with Namco Banda Isle for a little while. We'll come back here later for something later. Much later. No, not too much later, but still. Anyway, Baul, Baul, thank you. The next place that we want to go to, to continue our side quests, is Dongres, which is right over here. I'm gonna just hop on over there. Again, it's not too far away, derp, derp, derp. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna say, we already know it's not too far away. Shut up. Okay. <laughs> Jeez, I'm really mean with myself, aren't I? So anyway, we're gonna go ahead and climb down. You know what? I'm gonna see if I can actually make it daytime, because I like daytime over here. So I'm gonna do that really quick. And it's daytime! I'm happy with daytime over here. Let's go over to the bridge and go in. Okay, now, wait a second. This isn't the place I was expecting to come in from, but okay, this works too. Let's come over here and go over to the central area. Something should pop up if we come over here. Hello! Oh, what's with this crowd? Young man, would you like to take the challenge? This is Dongrest's annual Big Voice Contest! Anyone can participate. Whoever yells the loudest is declared the winner! And of course, our winner will receive a fantastic prize! 
it seems that it's a yelling contest. How lame can you get? Our current champion is the manager of the local in Shiva with his earth-shaking bellow at six... Wait, 706... 765 points. Bleh. Ishira! Yeah, I'm terrible. Dot, dot, dot. Hey, this looks like fun. Maybe I'll give it a go? Judith, really? What? Are you for real? What is this? It appears we have a new challenger and a female at that. Shia! Okay. A amazing, a new record. 1,192 points. Wow. <laughs> Yuri took the words right out of my mouth. Cool. And now with this amazing record, has our contest been decided? Count us into. Oh ho ho, it is the battle of the two ladies. I didn't think we'd see you in a place like this. Don't you guys specialize in hunting monsters? Aye, but we always love a good competition. Here I go! Oh, never mind, it's not her doing it, but... He had another amazing performance! A stunning 1,180 points! How are they measuring these things? We will never know! A formidable showing, and yet it's barely beaten by the score of our previous competitor, Miss Judith! Arrgh! <laughs> My turn. Alright, so the Chief is going for it! Breaking out the big guns, huh? This is getting serious. <laughs> Yo! L ladies and gentlemen, I've never seen anything like this. An amazing 1,300 points. Just when we thought Miss Judith had clinched the competition with her powerful voice, this is even higher still. Aww. That's our chief. He's got a hulking voice to ma match his hulking stature, huh? He's almost like a monster himself. Folks, it looks like our contest has been decided. The winner of this big of this year's big voice contest is well, wait! I I'm gonna do it too! Oh boy. Oh boy. Mr. Pre-Puberty wants to give it a go. Good luck! Heh, <laughs> that makes sense with that with that girl here and all. Carol. Amazing! Just when it all seemed decided, the voice of a new challenger rises from the crowds! And that voice belongs to... a young boy! A needle. Oh my god! Oh my god! I have to find out! Ugh. No, I... Do I dare? Do I dare? You know what? I'm gonna do this. I'm going to show what both of these are. I have to see what this is. A burning confession of love! Go! I love you! <laughs> hey, is he insane? <laughs> wow, ladies and gentlemen, we have an unexpected confession of love. And yet another amazing score, 1,295 points. Uh, however, however, this bold proclamation of affection is just barely beaten by the score of our previous challenger, Clint. <laughs> what, an what an unbelievable day we've had here, folks. One record after another, a heated a heat battle the likes of which even history itself seldom sees. And yet what's more, the victor in this battle is none other than the Chief of the Hunting Blades, Clint! Oh, wow. We have a powerful weapon made by Dongrist's most skilled artisans. I don't need this, you can take it. You don't mind? And then... Wow. Hey, you gave it your all. That's what counts, right? I think you could have picked something better to yell, but... You were really great, Carol. Thanks. Okay, so we obtained infinity! Let's see what this is. Do you change equipment? Uh, infinity, infinity. I believe that's an axe, maybe? Yes, it is! The strange axe with an infinity-shaped blade. The blade constantly rotates and keeps its edge sharp. 1,272. Nice. What, what's that skill do? Dex of weakening spell occasionally. Uh, okay. 
Okay, whatever. Let's go ahead and equip that. That is very, very nice. So we got a new weapon out of that. And now, I'm gonna go and pick the serious uh, option for that fight because that was, that was really funny. <laughs> He's just like, I love you! Really pathetic, but hey. Gotta give him points for having balls, really. <laughs> anyway, let's go ahead and see what the other option would have given us. Okay. I couldn't let Carol just have that embarrassment last in this in this game. That was just terrible. So let's go ahead and go with the actually serious option. A heated battle call. Go! Rending drop! I see what he did there. I see what he did there. F -f fantastic A whopping 1,322 points! Wow, he actually wins? Who would have thought such a colossal voice would come from such a small boy? This beats the record of our previous competitor, Clint! Wow. <laughs> that tiny boy beat a giant like that. Really? Uh, Nan. And she still runs off without really saying anything. What an unbelievable day we've had here, folks. Okay. Yeah, whatever. The vo the victor of this battle is none other n none other than the prepubescent <laughs> powerhouse, the miniature mammoth, the one, the only Carol. I I did it. For our winner, we have a powerful weapon made by Dongrest's most skilled artisans. Yeah, here we go. We get the infinity, of course. Yeah, give me the infinity already. Give it. Thank you. So anyway, that does that. Okay, let's go ahead and give him the infinity again. We already know what it does and what it is. Yada, yada, yada. So the ending really is different if you pick the other option. That's really interesting. Uh, who would have thought that tiny little Carol would beat that mammoth. Okay, so anyway, we are pretty much done here for now. I think we're already done, but we also, we have to head over to Mantake for something that was actually related to something that happened here. You remember we came over here, we walked around about like right about here, and we met up with Dine, who was Carol's friend in the Hunting Blades, and he wanted us to hunt down a monster for him because everyone else is busy doing other things and didn't want to help him hunt this down. And we were like, oh no, what if it's Pharaoh and Pharaoh's already turned into a spirit and we'd be stuck if that were the case. Well, we are going to go and solve that right in the next episode. You thought I was going to say right now, didn't you? Didn't you? But nope, not quite. We are going to head over to Mantake and figure that out later. So, in the next episode, we'll be doing that. I will see you guys next time. Masena out.